Up, up, up and down headlights. Up, up, up and down headlights. What? Up, up, up and down headlights. going over the car after a sick week and changed spark plugs, um, played with the tune a little bit, get it a cold start better, um, and also started checking out the radiator. Last One of the last videos I mentioned it had a bunch of grease from, or gear oil, from the rear diff, um, kind of spraying into it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nasty. Uh, I shot some engine degreaser up in there, and uh, so that's what the little bit of foam is. But between gear oil and dust and dirt, it is just caked. So, um, I was, <clears throat> I have a shroud here, and I didn't notice how bad it was before I started spraying stuff on it. So, Got the shroud off, wheel off, and yeah, she's nasty. So I might get, soak it a little bit more since I can get to it, and then let it sit, remove the radiator, and spray this thing out, because that is nasty. And then I'm also thinking about tilting the front of it down a little bit more, and some other guys I mentioned, trying to get some ducting up in here, like, like hose. Um, take it off from in front of the diff, maybe up and over and into it. Cause it, it just, this part right here is not angled down very far. Uh, so it's nearly flat and it just isn't able to catch any air. So the air just hits it, probably goes under the car and not up and over. Um, so need to get some fresh air into it so the fan and radiator can do something. So we'll see. Time to run some errands. Kids have all of our cars. <laughs> so, had to take the race car to go pick up some stuff. Uh, yeah. Improving. Um, hands dirty. Been in and out of the car for a while. So, a few things. Pop up headlights again. Um, this saved, I can't remember, like 15, 20 pounds, which was more important when it was rear wheel drive and doing no prep because this is as far front as you could go. Taking the pop ups out, putting in the stock clear snake eyes and having LEDs behind there. It worked basically as good as normal low beam on these cars, uh, especially combined with some uh, LED replacement bulbs and uh, fog lights. So, but I just really didn't like how the clear lights looked. And so that was the main reason I put these back in. And now I actually have high beam too. So that should help. Low beam, I really doubt it's gonna do a whole lot more, but there you go. Um, the other thing, some of you may have noticed in some of the videos, whenever I launch, it looks like I'm like turning the wheel um, or turning the tires. And it's because I, I just couldn't get the bump steer right. So uh, it, um, and when I first put it together, it would tow out, which really didn't want it. Now it tows in slightly. 
and I just spent the last hour or so messing with a, well, probably longer than that, and think we have a solution here. So uh, what we have going on is, this is similar to what I had before. So this is from like Speedway, I think, and then I made my own extension um, because uh, for a couple of reasons. One, this wasn't long enough to fix the bump steer. And then two, um, I made this brace that connects to the knuckle. And now it's actually, this part is in double shear. So much stronger than even just using the stock, or not stock, but a aftermarket uh, bump steer kit. So um, as far as I can tell, I uh, haven't actually measured the toe in or out, but eyeballing it is not doing any movement now. So that's fantastic. Um, I'll probably do some measurements too, just to make sure. I really don't have much adjustment. I can't go up anymore, but I can go down a little bit if needed. So I'm gonna keep going at it. I have a whole list of things I wanna do uh, before the next no prep race. And then that was some of these up here, some in the middle of changing oil, fixed bump steer. Um, then get an alignment. These are for Rocky Mountain. So I want to angle that radiator back there a little bit more. It's like kind of flat right now. I think I can get a little bit angled, uh, more angle, and then um, move the hatch strut. Just a little nuisance we found. So where I have it positioned now, right here, I can't fit two, it hits. But all I have to do is move this up to probably here. So all that is is drill and, drilled and tapped and move that up. And then I will be able to use this. All we did was just undo it, let it floppy, put it up here um, to hold the hatch up on sick week but i'd like to get that fixed before race week and then there's one other uh trick up our sleeve for cooling on race week i'm not re-gearing the car um before then um but uh we'll we'll show that in a later video oh lastly before i going to do any more racing period is uh obviously ordered a new chain so actually ordered two chains, one to replace and one as a spare. And then probably pull them out, check on it every now and then and see how, how it's wearing. So follow along, uh, there's some good no prep racing. We're gonna go down to Montgomery, Alabama in a couple weeks. And then uh, um, Kentucky, cast days of Kentucky, the end of March. Uh, which I call the Kentucky Ice Race uh, from last year. And, uh, but they reground or ground the track, uh, so it should uh, hold some rubber and it'll probably get pretty fast. So we'll see if we have enough juice to keep up. Wah, bah, bah.